here today with Nashville Session guitar picker and member of the Grammy nominated group The Time Jumpers, Andy Reese. Andy, tell us how you got started playing. Well, when I first started playing, I was about 10 years old mm -hmm. and I heard a lot of my friends' dads play guitar. And I thought to myself, I could do better than that. And it wasn't long, you know. Me and all my friends had our Mel Bay chord books and we were scratching away. And it wasn't before long before I could play better than their dad. So mm. it came true. <laughs> with Reba McIntyre and Mandy Barnett and Slim Whitman and I know you play around town with other groups besides the Time Jumpers like Chris Scruggs and Dave Peterson. Um, how do you become so adept at playing so many different styles? Well I think the reason is I've always just loved the guitar mm -hmm. and it almost didn't matter what kind of music was being played as long as it was guitar music. So I was attracted to all kinds of things. When I started playing my dad brought home a Django Reinhardt record and said, here, you want to play guitar? Listen to this. <laughs> and well, that blew my mind. And he had some Les Paul records and stuff like that. So that was the stuff that first inspired me. And then my brother brought home a B.B. King album when I was 13. And that sort of changed everything because that was kind of what I was wanting to hear. Mm -hmm. And of course, I lived and grew up in San Francisco. So the San Francisco rock scene was all around me. And that was pretty exciting. And then um, my brother and I started listening to country music and being intrigued by the great guitar playing going on in that field. So I pretty much listened to everything that was out there and liked it all. So I'd try and do everything and eventually I could. Well, great. Um, going back to the Time Jumpers, what is the latest going on with them? Well, we lost a couple members in January. Carolyn Martin and Aubrey Haney both quit the band and a friend of ours who'd been subbing with us for quite a while said that he could sing as high as Carolyn and he'd wear a dress if he had to oh. so uh, <laughs> so Vince Gill has become a member of the band. That's great. <laughs> understand that you collect vintage guitars and amps. Do you mind showing us a few? Well, sure. Uh, the guitar I'm playing mm -hmm. is a 1939 D'Angelico A1 that I bought from the legendary guitar player Billy Bird. Oh. And uh, around us here, this is a 1934 Martin 0017. This guitar is a CB Jumbo made by my friend Chris Bozong. It's my go-to acoustic guitar. Uh, there's a Dan Electro Tic Tac bass back there, a 68 Les Paul that was given to me by my friend Harold Bradley. I want to share with you one of the most popular Western swing ending licks ever. It goes like this. Now the way this works is it's played over a one chord. In this case, we're in the key of D, so that's a D6, a four chord, and once again in D, that's a G dominant seven, then back to the D. So the chords would be. And the lick starts with the root and the six over the D chord. Then over the G chord, we play the same notes, D and B, which now are the the fifth and the third, then once again. Okay. 
I also like to play it so the first part is in harmony. I'm just adding an F sharp note on the first part over the D chord. Then I go to an F natural for the second part over the G chord for a G7. Then back to the F sharp. So I'm playing the, the last lick just as single notes, but the first parts are in harmony like this. Circa 1941, Stromberg Master 300, it's the model Freddie Green played in the Count Basie band, and it's the greatest rhythm guitar for that kind of sound. <laughs> This is a 1938 Gibson ES-150 with the Charlie Christian pickup. This is the same model Charlie Christian played with the Benny Goodman Orchestra back in the late 30s. This is my 1963 Gibson Cal Farlow guitar that I've owned for about 30 years. <laughs> So Andy, are there any future sessions or projects you would like to share with us? Well, I'm still working a lot with Mandy Barnett. Um, we've been working on an album for her that uh, her and I are producing together, which is really coming along well. Mm -hmm. um, I'm working on a solo album for myself, which is kind of the, the back burner mm -hmm. of all back burners. Um, we're working on a new Time Jumpers project, which hopefully we'll record this spring. And also, um, I have a run of the show Always Patsy Klein, which with Mandy at the Ryman Auditorium coming up. That's great. Well, thank you so much, Andy, for inviting us into your home and your studio and taking the time to talk to us today. It's been really great. It's my pleasure. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.